everyone. Welcome inside Studio 21. I'm Heidi Watney. We've got a full slate, and the clock is ticking on the trade deadline, so let's get right to it. A blockbuster in the NL Central is heating up. The Cardinals have won 12 of 17 games since the All-Star break to storm into a tie atop the Central with the Cubs, with the Brewers just one game back. And a big key for St. Louis has been the play of Paul Goldschmidt. Goldie has 10 homers and 26 RBIs in his last 20 games. That's nearly half his RBI total for the entire season. Meanwhile, the Cubs have had the advantage in head-to-head -head matchups, taking six of nine from the Cardinals this season. So let's head to St. Louis for this MLB Network showcase game presented by Chevrolet to see who matters. And three weeks after helping the American League win the All-Star game in Cleveland, they faced off as the Red Hot Indians hosted the Astros. Now, this series is a big test for Cleveland. The Indians have won 23 of their last 31 games, but only one of those wins was against a team with a winning record. And now they'll play 20 straight against teams that were 500 or better coming into Tuesday. In fact, they have the third hardest strength of schedule in the AL the rest of the way deadline and helping the Dodgers advance to the World Series. In the offseason, Machado moved down the coast to San Diego. And although his first season has been viewed as a disappointment, He's actually having a solid year with the Padres. Machado came into Tuesday hitting 276 with 25 home runs, and in three games against the team he came up with, the Orioles, he's 6 for 12 with four runs scored. But before we see Machado add to those numbers, let's see what Fernando Tatis Jr. Welcome back. Before the break, we asked you, before Monday, what was the last team to start three sons of former MLB All-Stars in one game? The answer is the 2012 Dodgers, who did so five times that season with Dee Gordon, Scott Van Slyke, and Tony Gwynn Jr. On Tuesday, the Blue Jays and their infield full of second-generation talent, Nick Kastrovitz, whose humor is perfect. Two plus hours of the Democratic debate and not one question about whether the Giants should deal Bumgarner. I mean, that is what the people really want to know, right? Keep it.